Here for your bike? Just looking around. Looking for anything in particular? I'll fill her up. Sure. All right. All right. Uh, hello. Hey, Blair. How's life? Uh, good choice. Good one. Uh, yep. I know him. Lost Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah. Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refuse to work for Schizo. Yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop. Uh, we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Deacon out. Sorry as he is. Look, Addy wanted you to know that if you hadn't brought her that list of knife boozer, I'd be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier. Anyway, I... We hope he makes it. He's my friend, too, you know? Hey, listen, um... Thanks for bringing us in, Ricky. It. <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out. Oh, shit, what the hell happened here? Well, might be worth having a look around. Settle this.
Hey, me again. So, uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp and... I know, <laughs> I know, I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but... Didn't have a choice. See, Boozer... Boozer was gonna die and, uh... Well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but... Like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um... He lost the arm anyway, and, and now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. God damn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento and Fresno. And I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's, he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California, Oregon, and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini mart. Or no, 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 man. He would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm, making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game that Boozer and I used to play before we wrote out a lost lake for good. We used to call it, uh, Who You Were. You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the shit went down, you know? You know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So, that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe Schizo was telling the truth. I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but that, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you. Deacon St. John to Lost Lake. Daddy, you there? Deacon St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. I, uh, got tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. You know, he takes so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh... If it weren't for you, getting the N.I. whatever the fuck, so... Uh, Boozer, I, uh... It must have been fun. Pulled me down while she fucking wiped away at me. Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together. <laughs> he kept slipping all over the goddamn table.
Listen, Boozer. What can I get for you? We got stuff if you need it. Stuff's getting scarce. How's it going? Just looking around. Don't beat her up too bad. All right, I got you. Sure, all right. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, I never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, he got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts takes out the tobacco and chews that. Oh, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, be careful, Deke. Here for your bike? Just looking for some stuff. You need something? soon, huh? Hello. Wait a sec. I'll open it.